What is research? And what does it mean when researchers want to ask you about something? Research helps us understand more about things like who we are, where we come from, or why someone loves computer games so much. A researcher tries to find answers to different questions, and this must be done in a certain way so that the answers are as accurate as possible. When you are asked to participate in a research study, it is because the researchers believe that your opinion is important in helping researchers find the best answers. Let's use an example. Let's say a researcher wants to know if we really need homework. It would then be important for politicians, schools and parents to learn what you think about homework so that your opinions are also heard. But it's not just your opinion that matters. Your friends may have different opinions, and your teachers, and your parents, or the people that care for you. Everyone may have different opinions on whether or not homework is a good idea, and why. So to find out whether we need homework, it is wise to do research. This researcher has read a great deal about homework. She has spoken with politicians, teachers, and parents to find out what they think. However, she also needs to know how children and young people feel about homework. The researcher can either talk to the students, do an experiment, or ask them to answer questions to understand what happens if they stop doing homework. You may then be asked to participate. If you are asked to participate in the research study, you will have several rights. The researcher must explain what the research involves why they want to talk to you, how your responses will be used, and who will be able to see your responses. If you don't understand, it is important to ask for a better explanation. The researcher must also ask for your consent. This means that they must ask you whether or not you want to participate. Sometimes, researchers must also obtain the consent of your parents or the people that care for you. If you agree to participate, you can always change your mind. The researcher must explain how to do that. And remember, even if everyone else agrees to participate, you can still refuse and no one will be upset about that. You will always make your own decision and you must never feel pressured into participation. If the researcher has informed you well enough and you have agreed to participate, the research study can begin. What happens then? When you participate in a research study, it is important that you understand what you are asked to do. If there is anything you don't understand, the researcher must explain this to you. If you still don't understand, you should not give a response. Your responses should be as honest as possible. If everyone just gave ridiculous answers, the results wouldn't be accurate. Those who used the research results afterwards would then make poor decisions. Good research provides the best knowledge. The better our knowledge, the better our decisions. It is therefore important for children and young people to participate in research studies themselves. Instead of having adults simply say what they think children believe or feel. Once the research study is finished, you have the right to know what the researcher found and the results of the study. So, what should you remember if you are asked to participate in a research study? You have the right to decide whether or not to participate. You have the right to understand what the research involves, what you are being asked to do, and how your responses will be used. Finally, you have the right to know what the researcher found and the results of the research study.